Hi, I'm Maddie. And I'm Olivia. And you're watching DW TV. Welcome back to episode two. We're gonna start off today with something fun. We have a coolness segment for you called Lion's Kitchen. Hey y'all, welcome to our new segment called Lion's Kitchen. And today I'm here with our principal, Mr. Russell. And so today we'll be making pizzas. So first we need to knead out our dough. And so my first question for you is, like, how often do you make homemade pizzas at your house? I, I used to make homemade pizza frequently. Um, back during the, uh, when everybody was shut down for COVID, we made homemade pizza about every other week. Wow. Um, but um, I wow. like homemade pizza. Do we need the pet flour for yes, our table? we do. All right. And on your hands. Put it on your hands? I guess. Yeah. Another question I have is like, how has this new school year been for you so far as the new principal? Well, so far, student bodies made me do a bunch of push-ups in, in front of them. Yeah. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> we had, what, Club Fest was pretty fun. Did you do that? Oh, yeah, I was there, but I did not have a stand. I thought that was that was such a cool day. Um, yeah. Really, I think that the students have been incredible. Your teachers, man, I've been really impressed by the teachers. Um, football games are fun. I'm looking forward to getting out and seeing some of the you know the tennis and volleyball, and swimming. Oh yeah. Cross, I gotta get out the cross country. So I, I love all the extracurriculars, and I can't wait for the band to start. So it's. What's it been like? It's just been a lot of, I've enjoyed it a lot. That's good. Hey. There you go. We got, um, we got some tosses here. I don't even think I can do it. Try. Oh, look at you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's great. All right. I think awesome. now we're going to put our sauce on. So, yeah. So, when you're making your pizza or buying it, what's like your favorite kind? What, uh, well, my, my story of pizza, it's actually, it goes back a little further than um, um, the, the, pan, the pandemic and everything. We, uh, my wife and I used to be gluten free. Oh. And so it used to be really hard to find gluten free pizza crust. And yeah. so I first started making my first pizzas. They were gluten-free pizza crusts. Wow. Um, and so that, that was good. Um, but then, not my favorite. My favorite's gluten-full pizza. Yeah. And um, really, like a sausage, pepperoni, maybe, maybe some peppers. Like an Italian style? Yes. Do you like exotic, like, barbecue chicken pizzas no, and stuff like I'm that? No, I'm not like that. I like... I mean, one time I went to Mella Mushroom and I put like meatballs on my pizza and that was pretty good. Okay, you made it sound like it was going to be a mistake. <laughs> no, it was really good. One thing I do know is like a little bit of sauce actually goes... Yeah, I think I put way along. too much. Alright, now we can use our cheeses. Mozzarella and yeah, Italian? Yeah, and five or six blend actually. Well, this is like a really random question, but like, so are you like a football guy? Like, do you like football? I do, yes. I never played football. Um, I yeah. played high school soccer and lacrosse, but um, I love football. What's your favorite like team, like NFL and college? Well, I'm, I'm a Clemson Tiger. I mean, we kind of yeah. we live here, so I'm, I am a Clemson Always Tiger. Always been a Clemson Tiger. Well, yeah, you went well, to since, college there. Right? Well, I, I, since college, um, yeah. when I was your age, I didn't really know where Clemson was. Cause I'm, yeah. I'm from Ohio. Oh, so were you an Ohio State fan? Is this being recorded? 
Uh, maybe at maybe at one point in my life I was. Um, Yikes. I may have two See, two nieces at Ohio State right I now. I can't tolerate that. I'm a Penn State fan. Oh. Yeah. Look at look at. But I am a Clemson man. Um, that's that's my team. Yeah. But I still, since I grew up in Cincinnati, I'm still a Cincinnati Bengals fan. Oh. All right. Now we have our pizzas. Do you want to like you know? Wow. Woo. And so now we can cook them in the oven for 20 minutes. 20 minutes later. Mm. <laughs> That's cool. pretty good. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. Uh, now I'm hungry for some pizza. Yeah, that did look good. Oh, I need a new Daniel shirt. You can go get one from the school store. Really? Hey y'all, I'm Lila. Hey, I'm Aiden. And we're here to show you all the new additions at the school store at Daniel Depot. Could you tell us about the school store and its merchandise? Uh, sure, we carry a wide variety of items. Um, some of our more popular items would be our customized water bottles or our mugs. The teachers like to get those for coffee in the mornings. I mean, we have a ton of selection in apparel as well. So a lot of t-shirts, a lot of hoodies. We know the kids like to wear hoodies. So uh, we carry a little bit of everything. How are students able to buy the merchandise? Well, we accept cash. Uh, we also accept checked, and we check. We take debit cards. So we just got a brand new debit card reader uh, that's new for this year. So if you'd like to come in and pay with a debit card, we accept that as well. What times are the school store open? Uh, students can come check us out during their lunch periods. Uh, we are open the entire third period throughout all three lunches. So feel free to swing by and see us. I really need to go check out the school store. Oh, hey, Clubfest happened last Friday. Did you go see it? Yeah, it was really cool. Gavin and Cameron went to go check it out. Man, I just don't know which club I want to join. This is such a tough decision. Clubfest is right around the corner. You have to go. You know, you're right. I should go to Clubfest to see which club I want to join. What's Club Fest? Club Fest is an opportunity for all of our students to see the different clubs that are available at Daniel High School. All right, what's your club? Uh, it is Main Stage Player. It is also Theater Club. Yearbook. Uh, the Chorus Daniel High School Club. I'm in Hosa. Hey, we're the academic team, and uh, we like to call ourselves the A Team. All right, and what do you do in your club? Basically, you can either act, you can be on stage crew, you can be on set design, you can be in the light booth. It doesn't matter. You can just have a good time. We make the yearbook. <laughs> we uh, learn to be a big family and a good community, and we practice singing, but we also have a lot of fun together. Um, it's like a health, like healthcare-related club, so like we go to like expos and stuff and do health-related stuff. Basically, think about Jeopardy. Love watching Jeopardy trying to answer trivia questions. It's not just math. It's all kinds of trivia questions, science, uh, literature. And why should people join? Well, if you want to join, you can meet new people. You can have a good time, and it's great for college. Um, so it's a class during third period, but I'm definitely willing to work with you if you're not able to meet during third period. But if you are interested, then we can look, into, look at your schedule and see what we can do. Because we're all, like I said, one big happily family and we love each other and we're there to support each other through anything if we need it and it's also a really fun class and Miss Morris, the teacher, is amazing. Because it's awesome and it's fun. Because it's amazing, we had an amazing group of kids here. Uh, we've got Jenna over here, she's, um, she's fronting the merch, she's got a hoodie on. Um, we just do a lot of fun things, go to a lot of competitions throughout the state, sometimes in Georgia as well, Athens. So um, come on out, we're gonna plan a big trip this year as well on a bus together going to maybe somewhere like Spartanburg, Dorman, maybe eating the beacon and such. Uh, how do people join? Well, you can join by signing up or you can show up to room F47 on the August 30th or 31st and you can sign up. Because it's so fun to make the yearbook that everyone gets to keep for years to come and they get to look back on it. Uh, all you have to do is see Miss Morris uh, on in the chorus room 
or we have the club right now and then you can just sign up. You can find them on Instagram or you can talk to Chloe Prosser who's the who's the HOSA officer and she knows so much. Just come out on Thursdays if you'd like. Uh, message me on Schoology, Mr. Davidson. And um, we usually have practice on Thursday afternoon, so about 4.30 in Mr. Davidson's room and in Mrs. Davidson's room. What's your favorite club? DWD TV. Gonna have to go the with the robotics. My favorite club, there are way too many clubs to choose from for me to just have one. This one, of course. And why? Because I was in it. Because I've been more of a mechanic like my dad, helping him build, fix different types of vehicles from the 80s and 90s, including this 2000s. Because we just play D&D &D and everyone's cool together and we all get along. And if you could make a club, what would it be? DWD TV, but just me. I would make it a model railroad club slash electric, electric club. I would love to have a kickboxing club. Watch out, ready? I would make this one a, a million times over because D&D number one, D&D number one, yeah! I'm so glad I went to Club Fest. Now I know which club I want to join. Speaking of clubs, I need to get going. So, are you in any clubs? No, I'm not. Are you? Mm, I might join one. I'm not too sure yet. Oh, hey, I like your sunglasses. Did you go to the beach recently? No, but I went to the football game last Friday. Yep, we beat the Green Wave 38 to nothing. 
What a great game. Well, the first quarter is officially halfway over, everyone. Keep at it. Well, that concludes this week's episode. Have, Have a great, great weekend. weekend. Oh my goodness, they're cooked! What's that smell? Pizza! Uh, one time I actually used that camera! To <laughs> cook. What's wrong with Gabby? I think that's enough for right now. Okay.